Have you ever wondered how the same exact car, same engine, same model, same specs, recommend 0W20 oil in the US, but 5W30 or even 10W30 in Europe and Asia? It might sound like a small detail, right? But this tiny difference could cost you thousands in engine wear or repair bills, depending on where you drive and what oil you pour in. Some mechanics say it's all about meeting fuel economy regulations. Others blame climate, oil formulation, or even engine design. But here's the truth. It's really a combination of engineering trade-offs, corporate strategy, and emissions policy. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why this oil choice exists, and whether using 0W20 is keeping your engine safe or slowly killing it. Now, let's dive in and break it down like an actual mechanic, not a glossy brochure. Section 1. The Confusing Truth same engine, different oil ratings. Let's kick things off with a shocking example. Take the Toyota Camry 2.5 liter four cylinder. In the US, the owner's manual clearly states to use 0W20 full synthetic only. Yet in Australia, Japan, or Europe, that exact same 2 ARFE engine calls for 5W30 or even 10W30. Or consider Honda's 1.5 liter turbo. US models specify 0W20, while UK versions recommend 5W30. Same turbo, same bearings, same cooling system. So why the difference? Is it climate, road conditions, or something less obvious? Maybe even political? Well, here's the easy answer. It's not just about weather. If it were, Florida and Finland would have completely different oil specs, but they don't. The real reason lies more in emissions regulations, government fuel economy testing, and corporate marketing strategies than in engine wear or mechanical limits. Section 2. Why Automakers Promote 0W20 So why do most new vehicles, even big SUVs, come labeled with 0W20 on the oil cap? Simple. Government regulations. The USCAFE standards penalize car manufacturers if their fleet-wide fuel efficiency falls below set targets. So, by using thinner oil across millions of vehicles, automakers slightly raise average MPG saving millions in fines. Toyota even admitted this in a 2018 technical bulletin, stating, Low viscosity oil is specified primarily for fuel economy benefit. Under high load or severe driving, higher viscosity oils may improve durability. In other words, they know that thicker oil provides better protection. But they also know most drivers will gladly sacrifice long-term engine life for a one mile per gallon bump. Here's the twist they don't mention. Engines tested in Japan and Europe are often filled with 5W30 or even 5W40 for long-term durability testing. It's mainly the North American versions that get the ultra-thin 0W20 spec to meet emissions and efficiency standards. Section 3. The 75 Engine Test what actually happened? An independent laboratory teamed up with the Automotive Testing Institute of North America to run a 200,000-mile durability experiment on 75 identical engines. Half were filled with 0W20 and the other half with 5W30. Same engines, same conditions, same maintenance schedule. The outcome stunned even the engineers. The engines running 0W20 showed a 3.2% improvement in city fuel economy, but also experienced 42% more bearing wear and a 28% increase in oil consumption by 150,000 miles. 5W30 engines had slightly lower fuel efficiency but had noticeably cleaner pistons, a stronger oil film under heavy load, and less timing chain stretch. In short, 0W20 wins in short-term efficiency while 5W30 dominates long-term. As veteran mechanic Scotty Kilmer, with over 50 years of experience, puts it plainly, 0W20 works great during the warranty, but if you want your engine to reach 300,000 miles, 5W30 is your best friend. Section 4. When 0W20 is ideal and when it isn't. 0W20 definitely has its place, but only under the right circumstances. Stick with 0W20 if you live in colder regions below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Mostly take short, light load trips. Keep your oil change intervals within 5,000 miles and drive a modern vehicle engineered with tight bearing clearances. 
like Toyota, Honda, or Mazda. In these scenarios, Zero W20 minimizes friction during cold starts and provides quick lubrication. Avoid using Zero W20 if you drive in hot or desert climates, tow or haul frequently, climb steep terrains, have an engine with over 100,000 miles, or drive aggressively and often exceed 3,000 RPM. Because in those situations, the thin oil layer can break down, lose viscosity, and lead to metal-on-metal -metal contact. According to Amsoil's 2022 lab results, Zero W20 oil thinned down to an 18 weight after just 7,000 miles in turbocharged engines. That's dangerously thin. Section 5. The myth that thinner means better. Marketers love to claim that thinner oils reduce friction, but that's only partially true. Yes, thinner oil flows more quickly, but that doesn't mean it provides better lubrication. In reality, boundary lubrication, the ultra-thin layer that keeps metal surfaces from grinding together, relies on the oil's film strength not just its flow rate. But what determines film strength? Viscosity and zinc phosphorus. ZDDP additives. The lower the viscosity, the more the engine depends on these additives, and they degrade faster over time. That's why, after 5,000 miles, most 0W20 oils lose nearly 40% of their ZDDP protective barrier, while 5W30 keeps most of it. Simply put, thinner oils break down faster. Section 6. Hidden heat zone that wrecks thin oils. Here's something automakers never mention. Every modern engine has a hidden heat zone. It's the area between the piston rings and the cylinder walls, where temperatures can soar past 500 degrees Fahrenheit, especially in turbocharged or direct injection engines. According to ASMD 4683 testing, 0W20 oil begins losing its film strength at around 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that happens, microscopic metal-to-metal -metal contact starts and wear increases rapidly. In the 75 engine study, teardown images made the difference obvious. Engines using 0W20 showed piston scuffing and dark varnish buildup around the ringlands, while 5W30 engines remain cleaner, with a stable oil film even after longer high-load testing. The reason is simple film thickness. At normal operating temp, 5W30 forms a protective layer about 35% thicker than 0W20. That might not sound like much, but inside your engine, that micrometer layer of oil can be the difference between smooth performance and metal grinding. And here's the interesting part. Hybrid engines, which often stop and restart during daily driving, push 0W20 even harder. Each restart means brief metal contact before oil pressure rebuilds. That's why Toyota Toyota quietly advises switching to 5W30 for hybrids once they hit 100,000 miles, even though the owner's manual still says 0W20. Section 7. Oil Consumption and Timing Chain Damage if you've noticed your vehicle burning oil between services, you're not imagining it. Modern engines that use 0W20 often show higher oil volatility, meaning the oil evaporates under high heat and pressure. In fact, according to JSM366 tests, 0W20 oils can lose up to 13% of their mass after 10 hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas 5W30 only loses 6-7%. That vapor doesn't simply vanish. It's pulled into the PCV system, coating the intake valves with carbon deposits and clogging the catalytic converter. Even worse, thinner oils can accelerate timing chain wear. A 2020 Nissan Technical Bulletin, NTB 20-039, reported that long-term use of 0W20 in turbocharged engines caused chains stretch up to 2.5 millimeters beyond spec causing timing misalignment and rough idling. Switching to 5W30 immediately reduced the wear rate, proving that the thicker oil maintained proper hydraulic tension or pressure. So, if your engine makes a ticking sound on startup, or you notice a subtle metallic rattle, it's not aging parts. It might just be oil that's too thin for the job. Section 8. Secret Middle Ground. Oil preferred by engineers. Here's a twist most drivers never hear about. There's a sweet spot between 0W20 and 5W30 that many engineers quietly rely on during longevity testing. 0W30. 
This blend offers the cold start performance of 0W20 while maintaining the high temperature stability of 5W30. A 2019 study from Lubrizol's Wear Control Division found that engines using 0W30 had 29% less wear than those using 0W20 with only a 0.3 miles per gallon difference and nearly identical startup flow behavior. Many European manufacturers like Audi, BMW, and Volvo specify 0W30 as their standard oil for both turbocharged and naturally aspirated engines. If you live in a colder climate but still drive aggressively or tow occasionally, 0W30 synthetic could be the perfect middle ground. Section 9. Turbocharged Engines and Intense Heat Turbocharged engines are torture chambers for oil. Your turbo spins at over 150,000 RPM and is cooled by, you guessed it, oil. That oil has to withstand extreme heat and oxidation while keeping its film strength under massive pressure. 0W20 can manage under light turbo use, but in hot environments or during long highway runs, it often breaks down into 16 or 18 weight within just 3,000 miles. Once viscosity drops that low, the oil can no longer cushion the turbo bearings, leading to coking, oil starvation, and even bearing failure. Ask any Subaru WRX or Ford EcoBoost owner who ran 0W20, they'll have horror stories to share. On the other hand, 5W30 synthetics, especially full synthetics made with group 4 or 5 base stocks, keep their viscosity up to around 480 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why manufacturers like Garrett and BorgWarner both recommend using at least a 30-weight oil for turbo longevity. Section 10. The Break-In Period Most drivers overlook one of the most important phases of engine life, the break-in period. During those first 1,000 to 1,500 miles, your engine's metal surfaces are still microscopically rough and rely on a proper oil film to seat the piston rings correctly. Using 0W20 too early can actually reduce ring sealing because it's too thin to maintain enough pressure under high cylinder temperatures. That's why many engine builders and tuners recommend using 5W30 or even a dedicated break-in oil for the first few oil changes. Once rings are properly seated and wear metal stabilize, switching to your long-term oil grade ensures both performance and longevity. Ignore this and you risk glazing cylinder walls something no synthetic oil can fix later on. Section 11. How to pick the right oil for your car. Picking the right viscosity isn't just about reading what's printed on your oil cap. It's about matching it to how and where you drive. Here's a trusted checklist used by professional mechanics and engineers alike. Check your owner's manual for a range, not just a single number. Many manuals list 0W20 as the suggested oil, but also note 5W30 as suitable for high load or high temperature conditions. Adjust your oil choice based on your climate, below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Use 0W20 or 0W30, between 20 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 5W30, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or if you tow frequently. 10W30 or 5W40 synthetic. Look for certifications. Choose oils marked with API, ILSAC, GF6, or ACE AA5 slash B5 for modern engines. Go for full synthetic if you run longer oil intervals. Full synthetics hold viscosity and resist thermal breakdown far better than blends, which is crucial for today's engines with tighter oil passages. Avoid high mileage formulas unless your vehicle burns or leaks oil. Those contain seal swelling additives that can soften gaskets unnecessarily in healthy engines. Section 12. The Hidden Role of Oil Filters Your oil filter's performance actually depends on the thickness of the oil running through it. Thin oils like 0W20 flow quickly and reduce pressure spikes, but that speed can let microscopic junk slip past the filter. Thicker oils like 5W30 move slower, but keep a stronger oil film and trap debris more effectively under stress. In SAE HS8064 lab tests, engines running 0W20 showed up to 18% more metal and silicon buildup than those using 5W30. 
Over time, that debris turns into liquid sandpaper, slowly grinding away at your bearings and cams. So if you're running thinner oil, don't cheap out on the filter, because the wrong combo can undo all the protection your oil is supposed to give. Final takeaway, the truth automakers don't tell you. 0W20 shines when it comes to fuel efficiency. 5W30 stands out for long-term durability. Car makers push 0W20 mainly to meet government fuel economy standards, not because it's what your engine actually needs. If you live in a warm or hot region, haul loads, drive aggressively, or plan to keep your car beyond 150,000 miles, step up to 5W30 full synthetic. Your engine will thank you with less noise, reduced oil consumption, and a longer lifespan. Now, I want to hear from you. What oil do you currently use? Have you ever switched between 0W20 and 5W30? Did you notice any changes in sound, smoothness, or oil usage? Share your experience in the comments below. Your story could help another driver save their engine. And if this helped you out, don't miss our next video. Why your car won't last 100,000 miles unless you stop doing this. Because up next, we're exposing the habits that's quietly destroying your engine. Hit like, share, and subscribe. And remember, your car doesn't care about marketing. It cares about science and proper care.